Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We are just five hours and 23 minutes away from Team of the Season so far, uh, dropping basically team of the season. Now, I thought I'd give a little bit of info really quickly. Uh, if you guys either don't know how team of the season works or if you want to know how team of the season so far works, I guess. I don't know. Um, but this will be the only team of the season we get this year. Now, this doesn't mean that the only team of the season team we get is the uh, community one. No, we're going to get a team of the season from Prem, Bundesliga, Liga and City, La Liga, community team of the season. Amongst other leagues, we'll get stuff like EFL team of the season, which is like Championship League 1, League 2. We'll get uh, Benelou team of the season, probably, which is like the Belgian League uh, mixed in with Ligue 1. Uh, we'll probably get uh, Super League, Liga Nos, uh, Saudi League, Liga Bancoma, um, the Argentinian League. You name it. A lot of those smaller leagues will find their way getting a team of the season. And we'll get like a rest of the world team of the season for like the Chinese League and stuff like that. Uh, and leagues that... Uh, don't get their own mini team of the season. So uh, EA are starting the hype by showing us the outline of the card. Uh, I'll imagine they'll add things to it every single day, uh, which I'm excited to see what they do. I'm really excited for team of the season, um, and I'm hoping that we're going to have some fantastic content, some good players, and I'm going to bear in mind the sort of players we could get with team of the season coming out this Friday, the community one, based on the voting, um, with some of the picks that I suggest for this episode. So... Yeah, let's get into it. Just one thing I'd like to add really quick, the last thing. Uh, when I said that this is the only team of the season we get, I mean, if the leagues restart in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, we're not going to get another team of the season at the end of the leagues. This is it. It's this team of the season so far. So this is the official tots of the year. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I thought I'd, I thought I'd cl uh, clarify that in case anyone was confused. Uh, let's get into it. Okie dokie, we started out with Raise to Glory. Love that name. That was me today on stream, just... Losing my head at FIFA all day. <laughs> if you guys watched the stream today, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, sorry. Yesterday. It's Saturday today. I'm recording this on Saturday. Yesterday. Uh, if you're watching this on Sunday. Um, he says, hi, Haber. I've got no money left after buying Alan, but can save up easily. Uh, UT and SBC. Sorry. The untradables are SBC cards, icons, and hate boa. Uh, keep it the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, all right. Werner is tradable. Schultz is tradable. Um, wow, you got Prime Cannavaro. That's actually a really good pull. Uh, he gets slept on, man. Cannavaro is a very good player um, for me this year. So, I like how you play it. You play it as a, a, a wide four, triple two. I like that. That's decent. Uh, what would I say with this team? Now, I would say, obviously, first things first, you can try and upgrade that Werner to uh, a better version of Werner, obviously. Um, that could be, uh, you know, a good, a good possibility for you, uh, working up the, the Werner to maybe, um, I don't know, the, the 89 rated, uh, is it headliners? I think it's headliners. Or, if we do get a Thurum uh, team of the season card, uh, if you guys don't know, Thurum, the, the French striker from the Bundesliga, let me show you guys who I'm talking about right now. Um, this dude has got uh, a card in the voting, could get a team of the season card. If we do, it'll be a pretty decent card, if you ask me. Um, he will be three-star, three-star like Werner. Uh, but if he gets a team of the season, I can't see it being ridiculously expensive. And it could be a good option to replace Werner with. Gets the link, obviously, to Bakayoko. Uh, so we would be on full chemistry. And could be a very nice uh, link here, actually. Um, so that could be a decent shout for upgrading there. Uh, obviously, we'll see what we get team of the season wise la later on down the line. But apart from that, maybe upgrading T De Gea to De Stegen. That's personal preference for me. I think De Stegen is the best goalie in the game. Uh, De Gea is not bad though. So if you're enjoying De Gea, obviously keep him like that. But um, De Stegen could be a decent upgrade for you. But apart from that, the rest of the team is solid. That Bakayoko is insane. I'm so frustrated with myself for not investing the time that I actually had. To, uh, to go and get in the Bakayoko because he's actually ridiculously good. He has done some seriously naughty things to me in the weekend league. Let's just say that. Next team coming from Rob Ney, who says, I've got 1.8 mil for a striker and a right back. All untradeable. Any ideas? Love the vids, mate. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, you've got 1.8 million. What's your, so your other striker is Werner. Uh, I would say that you could do with, um, you could do with a striker here that has a little bit What's the one I look for? A little bit better agility and balance than Werner. Someone that's going to be a bit more of a dribbler. Someone that's going to be a bit more of a uh, 
a bit more of a uh, someone that's going to, you know, close quarters around the park, a little bit, a little bit more nimble on the ball, I think. Um, you've got a whole host of different options. A good option you could go with is foot birthday, Cancelo and Aguero. Uh, now, speaking of Aguero, I'm not entirely sure the best version of Aguero on the market. Probably is his screen card. There was a massive market crash today as well, by the way. Yeah, I'd say I'd say probably a screen card. Um, although his his record breaker has better dribbling but worse pace. Um, you could go you could go with his screen card though, uh, and then get yourself foot birthday Cancelo over at right back. That would be uh, a pretty good option. Uh, you know, obviously Aguero, small, close to the ground, good pace, good dribbling. He's actually got good physicals as well. You know, 87 stamina, 82 strength, 89 jumping in game, uh, 95 finishing, 92 composure. You add, uh, I don't know, a hunter onto this as well to even improve his pace even more. And he's got 99 in most uh, shooting stats apart from long shots. So yeah, I would say Aguero could be a good shout. And then over, obviously, at the right back spot, he could go with um, you could go with uh, Foot Birthday Cancelo. You could go with Inform or Headliners Kyle Walker. I'm pretty sure Kyle Walker got a Headliners card. Uh, he did. You could go. You could go either head, Headliners Kyle Walker or Cancelo. Now they both have their pros and cons. Cancelo's got five star skills, better dribbling. Um, he'll be better on the ball than Kyle Walker. Uh, but Kyle Walker is uh, a lot stronger. Um, has a little bit better pace. Um, like I said, a lot stronger um, and will feel better in heading battles and in strength battles and stuff like that um now i'm pretty sure cancelo actually let me have a look at cancelo's stats yeah 67 strength i personally if i was choosing out of the two i would actually go with kyle walker because i don't think skills is really that important on a on a right back however i know a lot of you guys really enjoy uh and and employ uh their right backs and left backs to you know join the attack a lot which is not something i do so if you want to go with with Cancelo, you know, I can see why you would want to do that. Either way, both are pretty good options. And that saves you with a lot of coins as well. That that in itself is going to cost you no more than 900k to a million coins, uh, that option. That gives you 800k liquid to do what you want with when Team of the Season comes out. Whether we get something really cool that you can upgrade. Maybe we get like a Team of the Season Mukiel, I think it was, that was in the voting. To upgrade your uh, foot birthday uh, Hernandez to. Uh, whether we get, I don't know who we get, we could get literally anybody. Uh, it gives you liquid coins in my opinion. So um, you're not spending all your coins on the team. You've got coins ready in case we get an SBC or if you want to buy a certain player. Next one coming from It's Ben who says, Hi Haber, love your vids mate, keep it the good work. Thank you very much. He says, I play a 4 2 one in game and I've got 520,000 coins right now, but I'm a trader so I have like 300k worth of investments unassigned. Uh, I should make about 700k. The only tradables are Mertens or Rojas, happy to sign, uh, sorry, happy to try new things. So you should make about 700k. So let's say let's let's say you got 1.2 mil then. If you're gonna make 700k, um, let's call it 1.2 mil. I like I like this right side here very much. That Ramos, I'm probably gonna do at some point. Like the SBC, he is notoriously good against me. Like it's scary how good he is against me. Um, I think you can improve this left side massively. Like I think you can improve it tenfold really on what you've got at the minute. In terms of left left wings and left centre mids, obviously you need him to play CDM. Roy Haas is not a bad card. Um, now he is he is tradable. So how much is Rojas? Now you've got 1.2 million coins already, and Rojas adds an extra 100,000, 120,000 coins. Um, you went with Forrest and not Ken. Oh no, I don't know if I can help you. I think, you know what, like, uh, this team, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, what would I say with this? Like, I'm thinking of left wing, left wing cards in the game. There's been so many promos, I my mind goes blank sometimes uh, when thinking about left wings in this game. Um, let's just have a look what we have. Obviously, there's Neymar, but there's no real amazing centre mids that you can link with Neymar, unfortunately. That is the downside of Neymar. This Hazard, you could go with uh, with a version of Hazard. Uh, for example, I think you go with his uh, 92 rated inform card. It's a very good card uh, to play as a cam. And then over that left le that left in the mid spot, you can either go with a Belgian or you can go with um, a La Liga player. For example, Busquets will probably get a team of the season, so that could be a good option. Or uh, you could go with, I don't know, this Tielemans card uh, as more of an attacking uh, CDM. Uh, he's got good attacking stats and good defensive stats. Four star, five star could be a good option to go for as a CDM as well. Um, you know, there's a bunch of options in the La Liga as well. Um, you don't have Vidal, but you could go do the Vidal SBC and that would also be a really good CDM spot. So I think that would be a pretty good option for you. Um, and obviously, 
you know that gives you that gives you the freedom to do what you want on this right side as well if you want to employ a different belgian or something i don't know um in time to come it gives you uh, the freedom of not having a dead link on this left-hand side. So that could be a good option, I think. Uh, Hazard, and then either you go with Vidal, Tielemans, whoever you want to go with, um, you know, they all work, don't they? Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be... Oh, no, okay, this is fine. Um, I feel like this is a phone photo that's been taken in the dark to kind of throw me off. I'm allow it. I would prefer HD screenshots. And the reason why I always ask for HD screenshots is so that no matter what device you're watching the videos on, you get the best viewing experience possible. As you know, I've been upgrading cameras, lighting, uh, microphones, program software, everything. Can't, I can't upgrade this hairline, unfortunately, but everything else has been upgraded to the best possible stuff that I can. I just want to, like, I know they're not the most edited videos in the world. I just want to make sure that the, the quality and viewing experience is as good as possible. Um, anyway, so from Rogue Barney says, I have 550,000 coins. Everyone is untradeable apart from Mendy and Larice. I can grind to anyone. Love the vids. Keep it up. Well, I appreciate it, man. Um, okay. So you're, you're playing a 43 in game. Very, like, very, very same formation that everyone uses pretty much. Uh, I don't like Rykard. Not a big fan. I see why you've got Yeri Litmanen. And now I would say play Litmanen as your central cam. I feel like you always want the pace of your players out wide and your central cam should be someone with good dribbling but not as much pace. Now, I'm pretty sure Limited has about 83 pace or 84 pace or something. 85, there or thereabouts. His agility imbalance lets him down a lot as well. This is why I, I always said there's no point going for Litman and icon swaps. Just get the icon pack. Why would, what, like, Litman is a very bad option. Um... Some people just wanted to go for a prime icon moments, I guess. I completely understand that. Uh, but yeah, I would say with this card, play at central cam. Uh, probably apply... What cam style you've got on him already? You've got a shadow. Why do you have a shadow on him? Uh, okay, well, you have a shadow on him for some reason. I'm guessing that's the only pace thing you had. I would honestly say apply a sniper probably. Um, now, I say that because that itself will improve... Uh, that will improve your your dribbling a lot. 92 agility and 82 balance makes it improved a lot, basically. Uh, play him central cam and Neymar as your wide cam. Uh, in terms of players you can add into the squad, again, you can go with that 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 Tielemans as well. Uh, now, it would cause uh, a jeopardy in chemistry. Um, you know, it would cause problems there, but you have 550k. There's a few good options for 550k. You know, this this Petit, I'm pretty sure his middle card is cheap enough for you to afford it. He just about. Uh, but Petit's good. I personally have used Petit myself. Uh, and if you did go with Petit, I would say play him left left CDM in game and back Yoko right CDM in game. Um, there's also Makalele. I'm pretty sure Makalele's uh, prime card is cheap enough for this. Um, this is also a very good card. This card is very close to Kante. Now, uh, Kante, in my opinion, is just as good almost as this card the only thing i think this card's got better than kante a hugely improved dribbling than kante's normal card in my opinion and much better passing than kante's normal card in my opinion as well uh i don't know whether the stats actually back that up or not i don't know whether kante actually has worse or better dribbling or passing um but i would say that this card feels better dribbling and passing wise uh, but either would be a decent option for your right CDM spot for sure. Next one coming from Chompy, uh, a, a Twitch mod on the channel. Very much appreciate your uh, contributions on Twitch, Chompy. He said, yo, hey, but tradables are Handanovic and Sandro. Only have 50k, but happy to save. Love the vids and streams. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, you got you got Immobile. Okay, interesting. How is Immobile? Let me know how that card is, mate. Um, interesting. What would I do with this team? Um... Hmm. Hmm. I would start saving for eventually getting a better left cam to play CDM. Whether you go with Baby Blanc, whether you go with the two options that I showed you, Makaleli or or Petit, um, a French cam would work really well. A CDM there will get you full chemistry as well. The rest of the team, I wouldn't change a whole lot. I'd wait till team of the season to see if we get a good left-sided player. Uh, for example, Felipe, Felipe Anderson. I know you have his 87 there. You guys can't see it on the reserves because it's covered by my face cam, but could work at left mid there. Um, you could go with foot birthday, Douglas Costa at left mid if you save up the coins as well. Um, but yeah, I would say I would say for now, just work on getting a, a better CDM because I think Baby Balak's a little bit obsolete these days. Uh, not exactly the world's best 
uh, these days as seed is. Are we good here? Uh, this is going to be... Oh, no. I thought it's going to be super blow, but it's not. He says, hey, hey, but I have 110,000 coins for improvements. The only trade was on Mendy and Areola. Second is in-game. Love the vids. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Um, so you start in this and you're playing... Why does it do this, man? Look, look how perfect that is. And then tw this is Twitter, by the way. This is not you. This is not your fault. And this is not PlayStation. This is Twitter. Twitter does this for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, but we can make out because we already have seen this. Um, what would I say with this team? I actually like this team a lot. I like I like how it's shaped up. I, prob I probably wouldn't change much. I would just say work on getting a better icon cam for CDM. Um, only 110k at the minute. I would start saving now and then eventually getting yourself when you can afford it. Again, Makaleli Petit would work really well with Bakayoko. Um, I would also say... No, I was going to say uh, maybe swap Lissandro Lopez and Bakayoko. I mean, that also still would work. Bakayoko's on full chemistry out there. Um, you swap Lissandro Lopez and Bakayoko. Bustos goes to 8 chem. Lissandro Lopez goes to 7 chem. Bakayoko goes to 8 chem. I think that's better than having a player on 4 chem. But maybe, maybe you guys disagree, actually. Now that I say that, maybe it's a bit too many players off chemistry. Um, so, yeah, I would just say work on getting yourself someone to replace Rykard. French would be ideal to get the link to, uh, to, get the link to Bakayoko there. Um, next one coming from Kieran. He says, hi, it's Haber. First pick uh, is my team. Everyone is untradeable except for Aguero and wan -Bissaka. I have 20,000 coins to improve. Let's check it out. 20k, eh? Right. <laughs> um... Rightio, what would I change about this team? Honestly, with 20k, mate, I don't think there's anything you can improve on. Wait for team of the season. During team of the season last year and the year before, uh, we got guaranteed team of the season SBCs. So we could get that this year and they were cheap. Uh, maybe not last year. The year before, they were cheap. They were like 83, 84 rated last year. Uh, sorry, on FIFA 19. Uh, uh, sorry, FIFA 18, sorry. FIFA 19, they're a bit more expensive, like 85, 86 rated. Um, but with fodder, you might be able to get one or two of those done, especially during Premier League team of the season. You could actually get some really good improvements to your team just via the guaranteed SBC. So I'd, I'd wait for those to come out and see uh, how you do there. Next up, we have got Yarden's team, who says, I don't have any coins right now. Tradables are Theo Hernandez, Aaron Wambasaka, Mertens, and Noya. PS4, this is a Roto Glory account. Okay, I respect it. This year, more than any year, I think has been the easiest way to make coins, which is why I always say I'm always ambitious when I tell you guys to save up for the likes of huge players like Neymar, Mbappe, blah, 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 blah. I, I tell you guys to save up for those players because it's really easy to make coins this year. Um, and, and you know, this is this is a perfect example. You've got some very, very nice players in this team. Um, what I would say with this team, uh, I don't think there's any weak spots in this team at all. I don't see a single weak spot in this team. Again, team of the season's coming out. We, get, we will get an EFL team of the season. We could get a, a team of the season, Phillips. I've heard he's played well this year. I don't know. I haven't watched the championship, and especially not Leeds, considering I'm a May United fan. Um, but I've heard that he's played well this season. We could get a uh, team of the season, Phillips. And if we do, that's a perfect upgrade for your team. Um, but I wouldn't change anything else, really. Like, this team is is in a fantastic shape right now. It's like, you are just a few team of the seasons away from it being endgame. So I would just hold off as it is for now. Um, next one coming from Roms, who says, second pick is in game. Tradables are Goretzka, KDB, and Kante. Bench is untradable without loans. I did my prime pack, and I don't have any coins at the minute. Uh, have a good time in self-isolation, uh, and I hope you have a new headset. Okay, well, I broke. Oh, that's why I'm wearing these headphones, because I broke them in, in in a temper tantrum at foot jumps. We didn't need to tell everyone that. <laughs> um, nah, it is what it is. You know, FIFA, sometimes I lose my head at. I think everyone's in the same boat, to be honest. It happens. Uh, but this is a solid team, bro. This is a really solid team. You play a three-back. Interesting. That, that Christian over here... Um, that's a, that's a pretty solid center back, I'd say. What I would say with this team is try and save up to get a better version of Goretzka. Uh, or you could get yourself... Um, I mean, you could get yourself Vestrate and play Werner off chem. Um, obviously, it'd take you a lot of grinding to get that card, but you could get that card. And that would work, and, and, and you'd, be play, you'd be playing Werner off chem, but that would work pretty well. I like the link between Kante and Aspi. I like the link between De Bruyne and, and Mares. I like. I mean, I like this team. This team is really nice. So yeah, maybe just try and grind towards getting Verestrate. Uh, the last two uh, are coming from uh, FJK, who says, "Hi everyone." Uh, sorry, hi everyone. Hi everyone is untradeable apart from Bujo Um Wait, what? Banguero. I read that as Bujo. Who is Banguero? Is he the left back? 
Okay. I will have 150k after I buy the hail of the vids. Keep the good work. Thank you very much, bro. Um, <laughs> Bangor. I've never heard of Bangor before. Um, I thought that said Butcher Gueno, and I looked at the team. I was like, wait, Butcher's not in this team. I would say with this team, uh, don't use Banguero. Swap uh, Fred and uh, Drogba. And I would say uh, start investing coins in towards doing the Alexander SPC because that's an end game left back and it links with Fred perfectly. I think that th that left back card, you won't need a, you won't find many better left backs and you won't need to upgrade your left back uh, ever again for the rest of FIFA. So I would say get that card and then you've got your end game left back there. You don't even need to worry about um, getting yourself uh, another left back. I think that'd be perfect for you. Um, apart from that, the team is solid and just needs some team of the season upgrades. Right card, I'd say look to upgrade pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, just wait for team of the season to see what we get. To be honest, we could get some really good cards. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then the last one's coming from Meme Ward, who says, Yo, Ryan, second pick is in game. I have 300k budget for improvements. Jovic was doing my head in, so I did the Rodrigo SBC. Only tradables are Ramos and Stegen. What can I improve? Still love the vids and streams. Give it a good work. By the way, my ears are still bleeding. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's... that. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I would say... Uh, by the way, I called Cunha uh, Metaglia in the last episode. I do apologize. Um, my fault. I would say with this team, I mean, you know, it's decent... Um. Yeah, again, team of the season, man. Like it's hard, bro. The only the only weak links you have in this team potentially are like PK. Uh, sorry, are like Ramos and PK is gonna get a team of the season most likely. So you could get team of the season PK if they base his card off of the scary card. We have got the, the the Halloween card. Uh, he could have a fantastic team of the season card. So maybe just upgrading Ramos to that card. Um, and then waiting for a team of the season left cam possibly. If not, then getting an icon. If we get like new icon SBCs at any time, you might get one. Uh, but yeah, I'd say I'd say it's just about upgrading via uh, via team of the season. Now, to be honest, I think that's what a lot of people need to do. Um, and obviously, the next episode will be on Wednesday, um, where we will have a uh, team of the season, obviously, um, and we'll know more about the players that we can use. Oh no, we won't have team of the season by Wednesday. We'll have it by then by next Sunday's episode. Anyway. Regardless of me trying to figure out what the days and times are, like like the silly man that I am, I do appreciate all the support in the episodes, I really do, with everyone and their dog doing these kind of videos now and, and ripping off me and Sheesh. Um, you know, it's it's I'm, I'm even more grateful that you guys choose my episodes over anyone else. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for liking and commenting. Um, and yeah, thank you all for the epic support. And I'll see you lads later.